Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing each creature that is unlockable during the Light Bearer event. There are a total of 10 creatures that only require 5 kills each to unlock. If you manage to unlock all of them, you will get 460 charm points total. These creatures have a chance to spawn whenever a torch is used on a basin. So if the creature does not spawn for you, you can wait around for someone else to use their torch to see if they will spawn. If the creatures do end up spawning, they will spawn for 5 minutes, one wave per minute, with 1 to 5 creatures per wave. I will be discussing these creatures in order of basins from my previous video. I will leave timestamps in the description for each basin. All of these creatures will give 50 charm points for completion, except the creatures in Drefia and Tarpit Tomb will give 30 points each. To access the Forbidden Lands Basin, you will require to be far enough in the Ape City quest, while the Bone Beast Island Basin will require you to have reached it in the Shattered Isles quest. First, we have Night Slayers in Hellgate. They are immune to death, fire, and earth damage. They have 400 health, and hit around 100 to 150 damage. Second is Khazardun Prison. These creatures are the Bride of Night and are quite easy. They only have 275 health and are not immune to any damage types. Third is Plains of Havoc. The Midnight Warriors can be quite dangerous for lower levels. They have 1000 health and can do about 200 damage per turn. They are only immune to earth damage though, which makes them pretty easy to kill. Fourth is Drefia. At this basin, you will find the Acolyte of Darkness. While running to this basin, you may want to use Invisible to keep most of the creatures off you. The Acolyte of Darkness itself is easy to kill. It only has 325 health, but is immune to death, fire, and earth damage. Also, at this basin, some of the creatures may spawn on the other side of the wall, which require you to run around to get the kills. Fifth is Tarpit Tomb. These creatures are the Doomsday Cultists. They have the easiest of all the creatures. They have 125 health and are only immune to death. You should be able to one-shot them with most runes, depending on your level and vocation. Sixth is Forbidden Lands. These are the second hardest creatures, the Midnight Spawn. They have 2000 health and can do around 300 damage per turn. Also, they can make you drunk, so be careful. They are not immune to any damage types, but only take 20% damage from Earth. Other elements are still mostly effective. If you are at lower level, you may want to ask for help with this one. Seventh is Hero Cave in Edron. The creatures here are the Herald of Gloom. They are fairly easy for most level ranges and have 340 health and can do between 150 and 200 damage. One thing to note is they only take 60% damage from fire and 30% damage from earth. Eighth is Formagar Glacier in Svargrond. The Bane of Light has 1100 health, but can hit quite hard. They can melee for around 350 damage, and SDU for around 200. One thing to note is they are immune to fire and ice damage. Also, they will run in deep red. I recommend being careful here. Though the creatures in Forbidden Lands are probably more dangerous, you can use the environment to your advantage. In this area, it's very easy to get surrounded. This is the location where I find the second most amount of dead bodies. Ninth is Ramoa, also known as Bone Beast Island. Here we have the Shadow Hound. It is very much in the middle of the difficulty tiers for these creatures. They have 555 health and can do around 150 damage. They are immune to earth damage. Last, we have the Magician Quarter Basin. Here you will find the Duskbringer. They are the most dangerous creature on this list, and I definitely find the most dead bodies here. 
Most of these deaths occur when someone triggers the Dustbringer spawn and leaves without killing them. Then, as soon as people go down the stairs, they get headshot. I'd recommend hopping the stairs to check if it's safe and use Mana Shield if you're a mage. Or even ask in English chat if a higher level is there or if people know the status of the basin. If you do run into this situation, you can go down the other side of stairs and make your way around from the north or south to kill them slowly rather than trying to take them on all at once at the bottom of the stairs. The Dustbringer has 3550 health and can melee for around 350 damage. Hopefully this video can help you complete all these entries and get you your 460 trim points. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy hunting!